Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to show you how you can tell if your vehicle has a limited slip differential. They call them posi rear end, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So I've gone ahead and lifted up my vehicle. I lifted up the front first and with my front lifted up what I did. So I got a floor jack and I got one of those little hockey puck style adapters right there attached. And I got that right underneath my rear end. And this is what you want to use. You want to use something like this so you don't take any chance on damaging that differential. And with this underneath, I basically lifted up the vehicle. And I'll have a video link on how to lift up your vehicle if you're not sure. And I got the floor jacks underneath. You never want to go underneath your vehicle while they're just, just on a floor jack like that. So you always want to make sure there's jack stands underneath. So I'm going to show you how you can tell now if your vehicle has a posi rear end. And basically what you want to see happen is when you turn the wheel forward, you want to see the other wheel turning the exact same direction. So this wheel right here is going forward and that wheel right there is going forward as well. If the wheel on the opposite side was turning the opposite direction when I was doing this, this would mean you don't have a limited slip differential or posi rear end. And you got to be careful with these posi rear ends when you do change the fluid. You do have to put in a special additive. Some of them actually come with it. Uh, like from Royal Purple comes with the limit slip differential additive. Or you can buy some of this limited slip differential additive from Lube Guard. This stuff works pretty good. And something I definitely recommend if you're changing the rear end fluid on your car. This is something you don't want to forget about. Because if you don't change this out, you will damage the rear end. You're going to have to rebuild it. And this will make sure that you don't have to do that. So every 60 to 100,000 miles, get underneath the vehicle, remove that pumpkin right there. And with that pumpkin removed, you're going to be able to then change the fluid. I'll have a video link in the description box below on how to do that. And now it's time to go ahead and take it off the jack stand. So I got my floor jack in place. You want to make sure that you set the parking brake. And now I'm going to go ahead and lower the vehicle down and just take your time and do this slowly. Never be in a rush as you're letting this down. I really hope this video helped you guys out. Please leave your comments and your questions below. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.